Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about Zdesk comparing sample mean and population mean. But before we proceed, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the not notification button for more updates. Now let's proceed. In solving the Zdesk for uh, comparing sample means and population means, we need to the to use this critical region in testing hypothesis on Z test. So we have the one tailed and two tailed, and alpha 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 and 0 0.10. So we will use Z test and it is applicable if n is greater than or equal to 30. I repeat, we will use Z test if n or the number of population is greater than or equal to 30. Now, in comparing sample or single mean and population mean, we will use this formula. So we have Z equals mean minus mu over sigma over square root of N, where X or mean is the sample mean, mu is the population mean, sigma is a standard devi dev deviation, and N is the number of samples. Now let's have an example. It is assumed that the mean systolic blood pressure is 120. In the Honolulu Heart Center study, a sample of 100 people had an average systolic blood pressure of 131, with a standard de deviation of 21. Is the group has significant difference from the regular population? Test the hypothesis at the alpha equals 0.01 level of significance. Step 1. In the, using the stepwise method, we will do 5 steps. For step 1, create the hypothesis. First, determine the statement or the question. The question is, is the group has significant difference from the regular population? That's the question. So make that question a statement. So just erase the first word. So the statement will become, the group has significant difference from the regular population. So the question now is, is the statement is an alternative hypothesis or null hypothesis? Since the clue is has significant difference, therefore, it is an alternative hypothesis. And for the null hypothesis, the group has no significant difference from the regular population. So, ganun lang siya. Ang HA ay magiging has a significant, mayroong pinagkaiba. Ang HM naman is walang pinagkaiba. Has no significant difference. Alright. Now, let's have step number 2. For step 2, determine the alpha. The alpha is 0 0.01. Correct? The tailed is, since uh, our HA is there is a significant difference, so it is non-directional. Uh, you can review the tips or the easy tips in hypothesis testing that you will found in this uh, YouTube channel uh, I uh, or in the description box below. Uh, for the tailed, it is non-directional, so the answer is two-tailed. And for the critical value, just use the uh, the critical region for testing hypothesis using Z-test. So we have two-tailed and 0 0.01, and the critical value is 2.7, uh, 2.575. If you still don't know how to how to Find or to determine if it is two tailed or 2.575. I suggest that you will review the video about the easy tips on or for hypothesis testing that you will find in this YouTube channel and it, it, it is on the description box below. Okay, now uh, step three solving, solving tile. So for the solving, uh, we need to have the formula. The formula is mean minus mu over sigma over square root of n. So just write this so we have mean mu sigma and n ko ano yung nasa formula yun lang isusulat mo as the given for the mean okay this is my technique in doing this um first find the number of population the number of population is 100 person right 100 people from the 100 people you will find the population uh, the sample mean and the sample mean is the average and how many? That's 131. Diba? Kasi ang 100, kalagi niyang ka, kadugtong. Yung average niya. O yung, yung sabi na natin yung sample, ang lagi niyang kadugtong, yung mean niya. So, ang kanyang mean, ang kadugtong ng n lagi ay ang mean. So, the answer is 131. 
At ang standard deviation ay wala namang kawala. Lagi naman siyang may word ni standard deviation. And that's the sigma. That's 21. So, yung matitira, that is the population mean. So, we have 131, 120, 21, and 100. Just put it in the formula. So, we have 131 minus 120 over 21 over square root of 100. Uh, first, solve for this. Uh, 131 minus 120 and also 21 divided square root of 100. Okay, you will get 11 and 2.1. I repeat, 131 minus 120 is 11. 21 divided square root of 100, 2.1. And then divide the 2, you will get 5.24. From this, uh, pwede ka nang mag-decide. Uh, de no? So, ano solve natin is 5.24. So, let's have a decision. Our critical value a while ago is 2.575. Kung natatandaan yung critical value natin, pwede nyo na lang i-review itong video na to after this. And then, kapag nasa loob siya ng critical value, we will accept HO. Kapag nasa labas, we will accept HA. Therefore, reject HO. So, ang nasolve natin ay 5.24. Lumagpas siya sa 2.575. Therefore, the decision will be accept HA and reject HO. Anong inaccept natin? HA, di ba? So, you will go back to step 1. Ano ba yung nasa HA? Ang nasa HA, the group has a significant difference from the regular population. And that will be your conclusion. Alright? To understand better, let's have example number 2. The treasurer of a certain university claims that the mean month salary of their college professor is 21 1750 with standard deviation of 6000 a researcher taken a random sample of 75 college professors were found to have a mean monthly salary of 19375 did the 75 college professor have lower lower salaries than the rest test the claim at using alpha equals 0 0.05 as the level of significance okay so once again this is our problem for pre uh, for step 1 create hypothesis so, find the question. The question here is, ito, do the college or the 75 college professors, may S, have lower salaries than the rest? That's the question. I'll make it statement by deleting the first word. So, the 75 college professors have lower salaries than the rest. The question now is, what type of hypothesis will be this statement? Is it a null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis? So, from the clue, it is it has lower the word lower uh, will be found in the clue from the alternative hypothesis as as discussed in the easy tips uh, for hypothesis testing so our ha is the monthly salary of 75 professor have a lower or less than 21 1750 or pwede siyang the 75 college professor have lower sal salaries than the rest. For the alternative, the 75 college professor have equal salaries. That's it. The 75 college professor have equal salaries. And, or, pwede siyang the monthly salary of 75 professor has a mean of 21,750. Pwede rin yan. Okay? So, that is our HO and HA. Now, let's test this hypothesis. Uh, first, let's determine the alpha. It's very obvious that 0.05. And the alternative hypothesis is lower, meaning to say it is directional. So if it is directional, it is one-tailed. Using the critical region for testing the hypothesis using Z-test, um, the critical value of one-tailed and 0 0.05 is 1.6 per 5. And then, uh, let's solve for the Z. So again, just write the given. First, determine the N. That's my first thing. So, we have 75 professors, and from this 75, their mean is 19,375, right? And then, the standard deviation is very obvious, that is 6,000, and then yung matitira is 21,750, that's the population mean. So, we have this given. Now, put it into formula, and then 19,375 minus 21,750 is negative... 2,375 and for 6,000 divide square root of 75 that is 692.82 uh, and then divide the 2 you will get negative 
43. So using the, the graph or the nominal curve, this is our critical value as mentioned in step number 2. And then, if it is in, inside, you will accept HO. If it is outside, you will accept HA and reject HO. Our answer is negative 3.43. Therefore, we will accept HA and reject HO. Then, again, kung ano yung accept natin, we will go back to step number 1. What is the statement under HA? The statement is the monthly salary of 75 college professor has... Uh, or 75 college professor has a lower or less than 21,750 or the 75 college professors have lower salaries than the rest with that thank you very much for your listening so that's all about the topic of z-test comparing sample mean and population mean so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button for more updates bye